Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy with the FW450 V2 or any other fly wing <clears throat> that's running the H1 uh, flight controller. Um, there's a lot of people out there. They're kind of angry that the, the bird crashes. And um, I, I do believe that it's not always human error. Some are. They shut off their switch before... Uh, while they're in flight and they could come down and crash but other times a lot of it 85% of it is your GPS wire <clears throat> Here's your GPS wire, especially if you have the longer one if you have the longer GPS wire it, Sometimes you have to loop it up because you don't want it halfway down the tail so one of the things you should do is We're gonna look at the tail here. I Have a wire tie on this on this flight controller because I don't want this one to go anywhere from the vibration or anything and what I'll show you is on the fly wing here the H1 is called the light it's not a it's not the heli one so it's just limited to different parameters but the only thing I'm gonna do here is show you that here's the controller here's the GPS all right and if we just take the cord and you plug it in, you see how easy that goes in, right? Now just imagine, these electric helis, especially if you don't balance your blades, look how easy this moves. All right, it's moving easy, and then all of a sudden, all it takes is to be halfway out or a pin off. You lose your GPS and you will crash. All right. Now, as for the flight controller side, it has a locking. I think these are JP connectors. JP connectors. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but these lock on. But what happens is, due to vibration, there's these little tiny white pins here. I don't know if you can see them. Little tiny white pins. And if I took a pin and just raised it, these wires fall out. And that's what happened with one of my controllers. One of the wires just pulled out. Now, there's a lot of wires here. And they all are there to do something. So, this is the only thing I can suggest. This is what I do to mine. This is a hot glue gun. But it's not hot glue in there. I got a rubberized stick black and it's like a rubbery hot glue so what I do is I know it makes it impossible to remove these but you shouldn't have to remove them unless you get in a crash and even in a crash you can remove the whole controller so let me plug in the GPS first you don't want to get any debris on these pins. Oops, sorry. I mean, they just connect real easy, and look at all the bare wires. So, this is what I'm going to do here. It's all connected. Make sure it's parallel and it's in proper. And this is what I'm going to do I'm going to hot glue this guy with this rubbery hot glue into the GPS. And this is the way it should be. They should solder this in hard solder. Let me pull that away. We're gonna lay it, wait a little bit because this the rubber gets really hot to melt. It takes a while for it to uh, dry before I start tipping it over getting little spider webs here but I'm gonna do the same thing inside the wires here sorry I got spider webs on me but inside the the clip I want to inject some of this see if I can get it towards the camera here I'm gonna get some hot glue around this area and then I'm gonna click it in and just put a bead so it holds it to the controller. But the important part is the wires are releasing from these little pin clips. And I think that should be changed in the future. It really should because... 
Okay, that's nice and hard there. That should be changed in the future because that's what's vibrating loose. And then people don't realize it because after the crash, what they do is they, they pull the heli apart and uh, they notice the wires are broken. Uh, the wires probably didn't break during the crash. They probably came apart during the flight. That's my opinion. So now... This is a locking clip. I forgot what they call them offhand. Um, they're not a balance lead connector, but they are a similar one, but locking. So what you want to do is make sure it's locked in. You want to make sure every one of these wires that you see that silver, the metal, and they're actually in. You can just go like this. But if you pull on these, you can see how much they move. I don't know if you can see that, but you can literally see how much that moves. And all it takes is one of them little teeny white clips to come loose from a wire and just one of these wires come loose that is supposed to be doing something. All right, so let me plug this in. Plug it into your controller, you'll hear a click. All right, and everybody's happy. You're thinking to yourself, oh, that's beautiful, it's plugged in. Well, I don't take any chances. So let's get Mr. Hot Glue here. And like I told you, I want to hot glue the wires. Now the wires, this is kind of molten rubber, so it's going to roll into those wires. And then I'm going to come across the top. So the wires are actually held to the connector. Let me wipe the spider web. Now let me sit here a little bit. While it dries. Alright, and the other important thing too is again, I said it, right here on the tail Make sure you put a nice wire tie, nice and... Okay guys, my battery died on the GoPro. So the last thing you saw, let's go back here. You saw me hot glue this to the module. All right, that's not going anywhere. And then you seen me hot glue the back side here where the clip is. So I'm gonna finish it by hot glue on this side. And I know what people are saying, they like how we got to get it out of there. But the whole purpose of this, you don't want it. Sometimes I have a little trouble with this hot glue coming out of the gun with the trigger. Let that cool down. And I got a little spot here. All right, let's let it cool off. I think this is the biggest failure on the H1 is even the H1, this is the light and you got the H1 flight controller. It has the same issue. I think those connections are pretty weak for what they are. And uh, I see people tr talking that you can put these on a nitro or a gasser. There is so much vibration, especially if you don't test your blades. Even your brand new blades on your flywing, uh, you should balance those and make sure they're okay. Because all it takes is a little bit, a little tiny bit of vibration and these things are all over the place. You got, you know, the thing is you have the GPS mounted. You have the GPS mounted. You have the H1 mounted with just some Velcro or two-faced tape. And you got that wire just bobbling around all over the place. So this is my recommendation. Try this and see if your crashing stops. I know 
some people have crashed a lot and like I said I've seen the, the controller and the wires are ripped right out of the socket so this will prevent that if anything now it's gonna pull the board out but it shouldn't crash now so you shouldn't have that problem okay this is Cruise Roy with the FW 450 V2 and the H1 flight controller I hope it helps someone out and I'm out of here.